everyone. For character education this month, our school is focusing on perseverance. So I thought I would share some books available from our school library that all address the theme of perseverance. In this video, I will share two picture books, two novels, and a graphic novel. Our first picture book is a biography, Farmer Will Allen and the Growing Table, written by Jacqueline Briggs Martin and illustrated by Eric Shabazz Larkin. When former basketball star Will Allen looked at an abandoned city lot, he saw a huge table big enough to feed the whole world. This is the inspiring story of his determination to bring good food to every table. Our next picture book is a story, Ada Twist, Scientist, by Andrea Beatty and David Roberts. Ada has a boundless imagination and has always been hopelessly curious. Why are there pointy things stuck to a rose? Why are there hairs growing inside your nose? When her house fills with a horrific toe-curling smell, Ada knows it's up to her to find the source. Not afraid of failure, Ada embarks on a fact-finding mission and conducts scientific experiments, all in the name of discovery. Our first novel addressing the theme of perseverance is The Eleventh Trade by Alyssa Hollingsworth. They say you can't get something for nothing, but nothing is all Sammy has. When his grandfather's most prized possession, a traditional Afghan instrument called a rabab, is stolen, Sammy resolves to get it back. He finds it at a music store, but it costs $700, and Sammy doesn't even have one penny. What he does have is a keychain that has caught the eye of his classmate. If he trades the keychain for something more valuable, could he keep trading until he has $700? Sammy is about to find out. Another novel that focuses on perseverance is The Case of Windy Lake by Michael Hutchinson, one of a series of books in the Mighty Muskrats mystery series. Sam, Otter, a team, and Chickadee are four inseparable cousins growing up on the Windy Lake First Nation. Nicknamed the Mighty Muskrats for their habit of laughing, fighting, and exploring together, the cousins find that each new adventure adds to their reputation. When a visiting archaeologist goes missing, the cousins decide to solve the mystery of his disappearance. In the midst of community conflict, family concerns, and environmental protests, the four get busy following every lead. From their base of operations, in a fort made out of an old school bus, the mighty muskrats won't let anything stop them from solving their case. And finally, the graphic novel I will share with you is All's Fair in Middle School, written and illustrated by Victoria Jameson. Eleven-year-old Imogen, or Impy, has grown up with two parents working at the Renaissance Fair, and she's eager to begin her own training as a squire. First, though, she'll need to prove her bravery. Luckily, Impy has just the quest in mind. She'll go to public school after a life of being homeschooled. But it's not easy to act like a noble knight in training in middle school. And when she does something really mean, in order to fit in, she begins to wonder whether she might be more of a dragon after all. 
And folks, I hope you check out those and many other wonderful books that address the theme of perseverance. Happy reading, everybody.